Frozen and Encanto These two are one of the greatest movies of all time. One is known to dominate over the box office for over a decade, while other is known to take the realm of Frozen. You didn't get a gift? But which one is really better? Will Encanto take the throne of Frozen? It's your host Arian and let's end this battle once and for all. Both Encanto and Frozen was dealing with tons of new songs. But which movie has a better collection of musicals? Frozen was dealing with many special songs and the best example can be the Let It Go. This song was an instant viral of 2013 and even brought an Oscar in the House of the Mouse. It became one of the top 5 in the Billboard Hot 100 chart and sold 10.9 million copies in a year. And this was not all. Let It Go even won the Academy Award for Best Original Song. Not only the kids, but the adults were also going crazy for it. Thank you. I never knew what I was capable of. It became the song with highest number of replays on any platform and even helped Frozen in getting so much praise. We can also say that Let It Go has played a very crucial role in making Frozen to earn more than 1 billion dollars. On the other hand, Encanto comes up with a new song which was really very unique to the viewers. Yes, I'm talking about We Don't Talk About Bruno. I mean, I will talk about Bruno in this video because the song has earned a lot of praise for the studio. Just like Let It Go, We Don't Talk About Bruno was an international success. Within a week after Encanto became available to stream on Disney Plus, the song became number 1 on US Spotify. If you don't know then We Don't Talk About Bruno has over 101 million streams on Spotify so far. It is this song because of which even after 2 years from release, the Encanto soundtrack has over 16 million monthly listeners on the platform and hence clearly dominating over Let It Go. However, we should also keep in mind that Disney Plus has played a very important role in making this song a big hit. Whereas back in 2013, Frozen was only available in theaters, DVDs and on YouTube. But it's not my conclusion. If you don't know then Frozen gets more than a million views worldwide in every few months, even after almost a decade of release, and most of them replace the song Let It Go while watching the movie. So it shows the popularity of Frozen even after a decade. Me? Just give us a minute. Okay. I will not make any kind of conclusion in terms of musical because it is a tie for sure. However, you can give your opinions about it in the comments below. After the musical, this factor is the one which can bring some sort of results in this epic contest. Mm -hmm. If I was you, I'll be really sad. Encanto has multiple characters including the charming Mirabelle, Isabella, Abuela and others. The movie has given a very clear message that everyone is perfect in itself. It doesn't matter whether you have your special powers or not. If you can make people around yourself happy, then it's your biggest power on which you should definitely flex. The movie has also given us some memories in the form of Bruno by showing that it doesn't matter how long you live separately from your loved ones. If your heart is true, then you will definitely reunite with your family once again. But on the very other hand, Frozen is very special in this area. If you are asking why then you should watch this movie once again. It has shown a very deep connection in the sisters, even though both of them were separated from each other. We also saw how Elsa decides to live alone and tries to give independence to Anna. This bond is really unbreakable. No, it's okay. You, you don't have to apologize. And despite having a solid message, Encanto is lagging a bit in this area. Both movies were dealing with a lot of memories, but the storyline of Frozen is the thing which gives it a bonus point. The fact that both of these sisters were living without their parents hits very deep. And then after all this chaos, Anna decides to give her life for her sister. And this is what makes Frozen a better movie than Encanto in terms of the bond and memories. Both Frozen and Encanto have shown their characters beautifully. However, Frozen leads over Encanto easily. You may say that their storylines are making this difference, and to be honest, it can be the reason. However, we should not forget that Encanto is dealing with many generations. Whereas Frozen on the other hand was mainly focused on the generation of the sisters. In Encanto, the movie has shown no development if it talks about the beloved Abuela. She has not developed herself with time. However, there was a beautiful bond between her and Bruno by the end of this movie. On the very other side, we have seen how Elsa and Anna were so cheerful, but with time, they have seen so many disastrous changes in their lives. It makes them so sincere that now they knows how to cope up with any kind of problems. The sincerity of Elsa has given a beautiful message to not only girls but to everyone that if you're confident and self-aware then you don't need anybody to support you. By the end of Frozen, we saw the change in the character of Elsa. She finally accepts her abilities and decides to show them rather than keeps hiding them. So we can say that Frozen is again showing a better character development than Encanto. It would be too early to say that Encanto is the next Frozen, 
because Frozen is not just a name of the movie, but it is a legendary saga which has developed many generations for over the decade. If Disney moves forward with Encanto sequel, then only we can speculate something about it. But to be honest, as per 2023, Frozen seems a complete and a lovely saga in which everyone is diving again and again. This was my analysis about the popular Frozen vs Encanto trend. What's your take on it? Mention it below and make sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date. Till that, thanks for watching, stay safe, peace out.